Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to some Steel Division Normandy. I thought you'd like this battle. Uh, currently, we have taken St. Meriglis with what I believe is the 101st Airborne Division. We've set up defenses, and we're trying to hold off the Germans, guys. It's not going to be an easy task, but we're going to do our absolute best. I'm already bringing in some more machine guns uh, to set up. We should also get some anti-tank very soon, uh, or just some tanks. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Bring them in here to assist. Of course, we are in control of the entire defense of the city, and we need to hold it for quite a long time before reinforcements arrive to relieve us. So let's see if we can handle it, boys and girls. Uh, I'm going to drop another machine gun off in one of these buildings a bit closer. And let's make sure these mortars are actually firing at enemy infantry. Let them have it, boys. The enemy tank's not going to be uh, something we can really deal with for a while. <laughs> But uh, obviously, that's that's something uh, in the in the books here. In fact, I'll bring in the Atigan and the Bazooka. This central area, we fought off most of the enemies here, and we also have some guys defending, just in case um, the Germans try to flank. So I'm going to keep those guys here, although I'm probably going to move these uh, rifles up because we've got more enemy troops here uh, dealing us some damage. I want to engage them uh, and let them know that uh, we are watching them 100%. Now, the issue here would be if they decide to bomb St. Maraglis. This, of course, was one of the most important cities to be taken during the D-Day landings. Um, it was an objective that needed to be taken uh, by the Americans. So I believe actually maybe the British or, or perhaps even both. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to keep on bringing in some anti-tank stuff, bring in some more anti-tank weapons over there. I'd love to get some more infantry, but I believe we're out. Got some glider leaders and some machine guns. And while those are great... That's not going to win us the battle. Let's send in an M20 command truck. And another mortar never hurt. But I think we'll bring in another bazooka. Alright guys, I'm going to have to put this bazooka down pretty damn quick so he doesn't get wasted. If you guys like to see Steel Division, I know this is a game that's been forgotten by a lot of people. But if you want to see more, uh, please do let me know. I've actually wanted to collaborate with other YouTubers in this game. Do some co-op missions, etc. And he's letting us know we got to bring in some supplies. All right, come on now. Let's bring in the Opel Blitz. Keep on firing, boys. Keep on firing. I think I could see the 8mm flak. Is that over here? It's got to be. Uh, we can absolutely bring in a Thunderbolt to take it out, but that's not going to be easy. Look at this part of the battlefield, boys and girls. Got to get some fire support there. Come on, where are those damn mortars? And actually, the mortars are ranking up. They're doing quite well. But I'm going to hit them in that open area. Well, semi-open. With the tank, we are going to get exceptional fire. We're still waiting for those points. Got some enemies pinned down. This is a perfect time to deliver uh, some good old-fashioned um, mortar rounds. All right, don't let them cut the road. Oh, but, oh boy. This is why I kept these units here, guys, specifically. So we can keep bringing in units. And I'm wondering, should I spend something on a Thunderbolt or keep getting some tanks? Ooh, I don't know, boys. I even kind of want to get some uh, um, mortars right now. But we're still waiting for those Opal Blitz trucks. I hope they're arriving soon. Keep the Germans back, boys. Just realize we have a mortar here. Let's try and target that uh, what looks like a pretty heavy German gun here. But maybe we can blow it out of the zone and not have to worry about it. Oh boy, we need medics, morphine, hell. What don't we need right now? Get that damn road open, boys. Yeah, we're down on supplies. Men have to kind of work with what they've got at this point. I will bring uh, another tank in. And again, we only have nine minutes to hold. That's a long time when you think about it. Keep it up, boys. All right, looks like we're actually moving back uh, that large artillery piece. Machine gun would be a good idea to move back, but right now I'm mostly concerned with the advancing enemy infantry. They can get into these buildings and pretty much ruin our defenses. Good work, boys. Get it. Get that damn truck armor. Last thing we need is freaking armor coming up here. Or I should say enemy troops cutting off the road. Just basic enemy troops. That's not acceptable. I think as soon as that jeep comes into view, we'll waste it. 
All right, let's push this tank behind enemy lines, see if we can cause even more of a ruckus. So far, I don't see any armor. Uh, we may have killed it, but I think our boys are doing a great job. The issue is just, of course, that lack of rounds, guys. We're down to our last few rounds. And so far, as far as I can see, no support uh, in terms of any of these things. I'm not sure if this guy brings in support. I think he just brings in command points. But we're moving in. St. Mary remains ours. Push it, boys. You're going to be telling your, your young ones about this fight. Wow, he just repeated that, and I honestly had no idea that was going to be said. But, man, that's exactly how I feel right now. We're, we're just barely holding him off. We could, of course, speed up the game, but I don't want to do that. This game also allows you to um, slow down, guys, if you guys want to eventually see that. Look at that. Mary, they're making a push for St. Maraglis. Absolutely. Just a tremendous amount of infantry moving up here. Every single mortar that can fire needs to fire right now. Danger close. Sorry, boys. Hit them. Hit them. They're pinned. I hope we still have a few machine gun rounds. Get that machine gun in there. That would really help. Even the rifles. Making a bit of a risky move here. We've also got that machine gun really nicely placed in the woods. I just realized this thing is getting some decent shots at the enemy. All right, command vehicles. Time for them to push forward over here on the eastern side. We've also got that enemy tank. I really want to kill that thing. So destroying the guns, I don't think that's going to happen. Although, we can bring in the good old Thunderbolt, my boys. So you know what? I guess they're supposed to be right here. Let's try it out. I actually want to bring in the Grasshopper first to make sure there's actually something here. Let's make sure we're not being totally overrun because the Thunderbolt's not going to do much against anything but armor. But you know what? We could take that tank out. Let's do it. I think I'm more concerned about the tank than I am about anything else. Thunderbolt on the way, boys. We need your help, son. There we go. Nice. He's falling back. Not, not quite a kill. Not quite a kill. 520, boys. Don't shoot. Let him burn. I love the voice acting in this game. Just the messages as well. And St. Mary Glees is definitely on fire. But we absolutely hold the center still. Wait, waste that MG. Oh boy, they blew him to hell. It's getting more and more dangerous out here. one of these uh, I'm gonna bring in an M8 recon vehicle just because I anticipate there being some enemies along this uh, path so at least the M8 recon vehicle has some pretty nice machine guns if I don't say so myself Push over here, and we'll start firing at this location now. Holy hell, man. We must have killed so many Germans. But you know, likewise, they probably killed a lot of us too. Uh, but just the ability to spot them from this distance uh, and do this much damage, even when we're low on ammo. Imagine if we had ammo in this scenario. Don't worry about the casualties. Keep fighting, damn it. Sending a Pathfinder here. Get that DUKW, an enemy DUKW. Wonder if we can take him out. Nice. Three minutes, guys. Thirty-five seconds. Can we make it work? Please say yes. Bring in as many mortars as we can. Again, unfortunately, supply is not in the books for us right now. 
What I will do though, I'm going to drop some of our recon units here. Um, engage any enemies and pretty much try and clear up this road. In fact, I'll even go into infantry and get some machine guns here if I can. Three minutes, guys. Three damn minutes. Oh boy, we got Nebelwerfers coming in. This is going to turn us to dust if we're not careful. Let's get the AB rifles over here in the damn building, for God's sake. Fire boys. Main enemy attack. Got to get those guys up now. In fact, we'll go up on the east side. Uh, we can do a fast move here. Do a fast approach. Not a safe, but gets the job done. We're not giving up, boys. Come on. Get that machine gun in that damn building. Man, I'm seeing a lot of guys going down right now, but we still have a few guys uh, operational. Man, why do you have such a negative view of your men? These boys will hold out these damn Germans until, until they go straight to hell with them. I couldn't think of anything better. Sorry, guys. We're definitely getting our asses kicked here, but I think we can come out of this on top. Let's bring in the Grasshopper. Let's maybe even bring in another Thunderbolt, because I think that's going to be pretty much the only thing. Oh, we don't have another Thunderbolt uh, that can help us right now. All right, bring in some heavy machine guns. One more minute. That's all we need, guys, to hold the area. Here we go. Thunderbolt ready. I know it's not made for infantry, but it's danger close time. Danger close. Nice. Einsatz troop and unit destroyed. We're still holding it. Just 50 seconds. Is it going to be enough, guys? Is it going to be enough? I don't know. Looks like we're already pinning some of the German squads out here. All the guys out in here, most of them, seem to have the ammunition. As close to the enemy as possible. Those Pathfinders in the building. It's still our damn city, boys. There we go. We just barely held it by the skin of our necks with the Germans getting in, guys, so, so closely. So a really awesome fight there. Blood on the risers. 28th, just a tremendous amount. You can see the kills here for each side. Um, wow, man. So, kills-wise, we can see over here the victims of our own shots. A lot of hits with the machine guns and the mortars. I guess I'm not surprised by that, but I love how you can see the names of the German kills here. Losses on our own side. Yeah, we absolutely lost a lot of men there, but we held, and that's what's important. Uh, so, there we go. Uh, kills in team, elapsed time fascinating if you guys enjoyed this uh, battle and you want to see some more from steel division make sure to let me know in the comments down below guys and we'll absolutely try to make this a regular on the channel thank you again folks